Hello everybody! I wanted to revisit FlashMQ's ability to handle a million messages per second and then specifically what it would cost. So I set up a server and it is currently processing a million messages per second in and out. And our load simulator is reporting a low receive minus send value so that we know that no messages are being dropped because every message that's being published is received and it counts the difference. Before we look at the cost, let's see if we can load it a little extra. In one of my earlier videos, I showed that we can play video through it, so let's do that again. On the one side, we have an application that connects to the server and merely writes out all the bytes it gets. And on the other, we're going to use MPV to play video over ASCII characters and pipe it to the server. Now I'm only capturing at 15 frames per second, but still the result is pretty good. And to achieve this we need to publish a few thousand messages per second constantly with low latency. And the server is, well, it still has capacity to spare, so we're able to handle this just fine. Now let's look at the cost in terms of traffic. We can see that we are currently processing about a gigabit per second in and a gigabit per second out. At Amazon Web Services you only pay for your outgoing traffic, so let's throw that in a calculator and see what that would yield. So this number we can change to a gigabit and it would amount to actually about $20,000 per month. This is not really cheap. However, let's compare that to a commercial offering like Amazon IoT Core. At Amazon IoT Core the pricing is staggered, so in Frankfurt you pay $1.20 for the first billion messages, and then $0.96, cents, and then $0.84. Cents. So I put this in this little spreadsheet, and let's put our message volume in there. 1 million messages per second, 2.5 trillion messages per month, 2.2 million dollars per month. So, if you have this kind of message volume, FlashMQ can save you quite a bit of money. And IoT Core isn't even all that performant. Let's do our video test that we did before. So we have the output side on one end, and the input side on the other. And as you can see, the video is horribly garbled, meaning the messages are being dropped, delayed. It just doesn't work. So, let's sum it up with a price comparison, and thanks for watching.